Hello guys, Keep On TV here, back for yet another transfer daily video. So we've actually got some transfer news in today's video, otherwise I wouldn't be doing one <laughs> if we didn't have any transfer news. But yeah, um, I'm on the Birmingham lot. I saw Karanka tip to complete second Middlesbrough reunion at Birmingham City. So yeah, let's get straight into it. Um, I saw Karanka has already brought George Friend to Birmingham City, we know that. The new Blues boss has been credited with an interest in another of his former Middlesbrough disciples, Adam Clayton. Adam Clayton is a good player, to be honest. Um, he's, bid farewell, he's bid farewell to the Riverside after being informed by Neil Warnock that he was not part of his plans going forward. I swear Adam Clayton played a massive part, like George Fenn, in Middlesbrough's promotion. Um, five seasons ago. The 31-year-old has huge experience in the Championship, having played over 300 matches in the second tier for Borough, many of those under Cranky yeah, yeah. as well as Yorkshire rivals, so he's played for Leeds and Huddersfield as well. Um, Football Insider claims that initial talks have already been held between Blues and Clayton's representatives ahead of a proposed move. Blues are expected to be busy in the coming weeks ahead of the new season and beyond the kickoff, the closure of the transfer in October. They've already added the fan. Yeah, so this could be our third summer signing. Adam Clayton, of course, used to play under Cranker when he was at Middlesbrough. Uh, he's got a lot of experience, similar to George Friend. And uh, I still I still think he can be a decent player for us. Of course, you look at our central midfield now. Sunich, next, and Gary Garner. I, I think Adam Clayton's much better than Gary Garner, to be honest. So yeah, and even if he doesn't start, which I think he will, because he is a bit old now, he's 31, isn't he? Which, you know, Gary, well, Gary Garner's about 26, 27, or s somewhere in between uh, that bracket. Um, Even if he, yeah, so even if he doesn't start, I still think he'll be a really good squad player for us. Um, And I don't really think David Davis can cut it. Um, So yeah. And, uh, yeah, that's Adam Clayton. Apparent uh, attacking midfielder Fran Vialba's future is currently uncertain, apparently. Uh, sorry, according to Boeing Live. Meanwhile, right, another bit of transfer news. This is to do with Jonathan Lecco. Meanwhile, it's understood that West Brom winger Jonathan Lecco favours a move to St Andrews instead of Sheffield Wednesday. They've, of course, had a bid accepted as well, but he's going... According to reports, he's going to favour a move to St Andrews. So, yeah, Gary Monk, we've got one over you on that one. Um, we, Yeah, so both clubs have agreed to feel Valbion. He's only 21 years old as well, spent last season on Leon Charlton and impressed before suffering a season-ending ACL injury, but the opportunity to remain in Westminster could be key to his decision. Yeah, I think as well, um, Sheffield Wednesday... Um, I've been deducted 12 points to start the season, so I don't I don't really see him going to Sheffield Wednesday. But after the um, the game today, the pre is it's clear as day we need to see new signings. I know we've seen two, potentially three now with um, Jonathan Lecco coming. In, well, potentially four, should I say, Adam Clay and Jonathan Lecco um, linked with moves to Blues. So yeah, um, we're definitely being active in the transfer window. We're making moves, which I like to see, but we definitely need a striker and a goalkeeper. Um, yeah, that's so a winger. If we bring in, if we bring in Leco, Adam Clayton, we've got John Sorrell, um, and possibly another centre. So another centre back, along. So I don't know. I don't know. Um, what Crank is going to be doing? Is he going to stick with Dean and Roberts? I'm not too sure, to be honest. Um, Dean had an okayish game in the game against Leicester today. So yeah, a striker and a goalkeeper. They're the two main positions that we definitely need to strengthen. Maybe a winger as well. But yeah, um, this goalkeeper that we also linked with, um, the Charleston goalkeeper. I, I touched upon that in a, a transfer daily a couple of days ago. I just think we need someone better than him, like O'Neill Leverage. And Ivan Sanchez, a lot of people asking about him. 
I've not actually heard anything about him. Of course, he's left his club now. Um, but, yeah. Some are saying the move's back on. Some are saying he's going to a different club. We'll just have to wait and see what happens on that front. But anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Make sure to like, share, and also subscribe. It's been Keep Point TV. And keep on time. See you later.